Nola Joint here, and in this episode, Top of the Rock Restaurant. Yeah! Welcome to Nola Joint. Let the good times roll. Top of the Rock Restaurant and Brewery is located in a really beautiful location in Jasper, Tennessee. When you first drive up, the view is just really amazing. And as you pull into the area, you really see this is just a really fantastic location to truly enjoy a beautiful vista as you enjoy a fantastic meal. They also have the Fiery Gizzard Cafe for a little lighter fare. And you can't help but be curious about this bridge here. So, of course, you've got to go cross over and explore to see what's over there. And take a few pictures as you look out over this wonderful view that you've got right here looking out. So, as you adventure on over across the bridge and take a look at the beautiful surroundings, you know you're in for a great experience. When you reach the other side, you're greeted with a pathway and you see Pat Summit, which is a private facility for residents of the community development that's going on here in the Jasper Highlands Village. And the Pat Summit facility is quite impressive. And as you look at this amazing view right in front of it, it will really inspire you to seriously consider purchasing property here as it is so beautiful. Pat Summit is actually named in honor of a lady named Pat Summit. The combination of the natural beauty of the area along with the wonderful landscaping they've done here really makes this a beautiful place to view. And it's such an amazing area for the natural beauty along with the fantastic facility that they've created here for the residents of the development of the Jasper Highlands Village. So you really uh, have to be impressed by how much they put into this really great venue that you could really have some fantastic times on. So as great a spot as this looks like, I am getting more and more curious to see what the restaurant's going to look like. So I'm getting more and more excited and they even have another area with a fire pit here. And uh, looks like you could have a nice time in this little spot as well. So they really have taken some time to put some interesting spots out and about. Now let's go ahead and check in the restaurant and go ahead and go inside. Let's see what's inside this place. Okay, so it looks like it is quite a nice spot in here as well. They definitely have taken some time to do some very nice design elements and everything is really nice looking. I'm quite pleased with the ambiance of everything in here so far. And I did score a beautiful outdoor patio seating spot in a prime location. Thank you very much. It's all perfect. Thank you. And we got the menus immediately. So let's check these out. So we have a selection of the house beers that they brew here. So I'm definitely going to try some of these out. And then we have their cocktails, an interesting selection of those as well. Next we have their wine selection, which looks like a pretty decent selection here. And then we get to the actual food menu. And here we see they have a good selection of appetizers, salads, some sandwiches with a burger, a tuna salad sandwich, a steakhouse burger. And the entrees are chicken piccata, burrito bowl, pecan crusted rainbow trout, fish and chips, pork scallopini, shrimp and grits, steak frites, grilled filet mignon, chicken bacon mac and cheese, blackened fish tacos, and a dessert of a chocolate chip cookie and ice cream, and sides of breakfast potatoes, hand cut fries, black beans and rice, roasted vegetables, farro pilaf, asparagus, and cheese grits. So a nice concise menu with a good selection. So after looking at the menu and then looking back at the view, I really have to say I'm quite pleased with this view. You can see the Nick Jack Lake and the Tennessee River very nicely from here. This is beautiful. I'm quite happy with the vista that I've got here from my lovely spot here on the patio. And as I look around here on the patio, this is a really 
very nicely built area. Uh, this is a great place to enjoy a dinner. I'm really happy with this. Very nice. The lighting design here is also quite well done. And then I really like how they've got the sliding doors here. But it's now time for beer. Prost. I have to say, it's a really nice change of pace to be enjoying the sounds of nature out here with no loud music blaring. As I enjoy a little wine in between my beers. Of course, about this moment, the call of nature arrives, so I wanted to go explore the restaurant a little more as well. The bathrooms are here in the back and as I went back here to the bathroom and then back again I did like to notice how the bar was set up with the actual brewery behind so you can see all the brew tanks there so that's where all of the beer is coming from so I always like to see where my beer is coming from from brewery so that makes this a little nicer to be able to see it back there I'm glad they have it set up that way and then uh, the other seating areas here are lined up. Definitely uh, there's not a lot of people inside because everybody wants to be out on the view of the patio if possible. And who can blame them? That view is fantastic. The Red L. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button too while you're thinking about it if you're having fun and want to keep up with all of the adventures that we go on here. And then just notice how as we're reaching twilight, we're getting more and more of a change in the view, but it's still a beautiful, beautiful thing to look at from this patio. Well, our entrees have arrived. My dining companion got the steak burger that looks fantastically delicious. And I got the trout, which also looks quite wonderful and delicious smelling as well. A little trout. The wheat beer. Ho, 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 ho. I didn't catch this trout. I feel a little guilty. I should always catch my trout.
very uh, firm vegetables. That's good. Very bon. Hit that subscribe button right now and give this video a thumbs up and we'll keep having fun. And now as darkness descends, our view is really starting to change here. The stout. And it's finally time for dessert after that delicious trout dinner. And it's the cookie with ice cream. So this looks great. Yeah. 
as I was watching. So mission accomplished, my dinner and my dessert are all in my belly. And then the favorite part of everybody's night, the bill has arrived. So it's $79.95, which is not bad at all for two people eating and drinking a fantastic dinner in such a fantastic venue. Heading back outside, I'm kind of sad to be leaving this place as I had a fantastic time, a great dinner, and a wonderful view. So here's the kitchen with all the folks hard at work, so thanks to everybody back there for the great meal. It looks like they're already prepared for brunch tomorrow, and the special is going to be steak and eggs, a uh, side of biscuit and gravy. I'm tempted to come back for that. Here's the bridge on the way out. And as we turn around for one last view of this great place, oh wow. So thanks to everybody at Top of the Rock, a fantastic experience. I loved my trout, I loved all the beers, and I definitely loved the view. Great job, Top of the Rock Brewery and Restaurant. Definitely make a visit if you're ever in the area. There are certainly some good food, good times, and good people here. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.